What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Monster Hunter World video. Following the coverage on my top armor pieces in the game, today I'm going to be sharing with you my top arm pieces. This was a harder list to make than the other one seeing as I barely use many different types. I only have about 3 that I really really like. Nonetheless, as I studied all the different armor pieces, I was able to find 2 other ones that I really really like. Now, I find this list to be my personal favorite, so if I happen not to mention yours, drop it in the comment section below so we all have more knowledge of all the different pieces in the game. Now, I've broken these into three different categories, damage boosting, survivability, and utility. So without further ado, let's get right on to it. Starting things off with the Valhasak Braces B or Beta. These are probably my favorite arm pieces in the whole game. Not only do they look amazing, but they offer 3 level 1 slots, 1 point into peak performance, and 1 point into Valhasak Vitality. Overall making them an amazing arm piece to have on almost any build. Valhasak Vitality allows recovery to exceed the red portion of the health gauge, meaning you can keep on recovering. And peak performance makes it so when you're at full health, you have plus 20 attack once it's maxed. Meaning that these two abilities work together really well and overall synergize amazingly. Alright, for our next damage boosting armor piece, we have the Kaiser Vamp Braces A, which gives us a level 1 slot and level 2 weakness exploit. Overall, a very nice armor piece, and as we know, weakness exploit is a skill that's essential to almost any DPS build. What it does is that it increases the affinity of attacks that exploit a monster's weak spot. Once it's maxed out, it will give you 50% increased affinity. Overall, a very nice skill to have, and the fact that you get level 2 here means you can actually take off the eye patch if that's what you're rocking to get this skill. Nonetheless, it's a really nice arm piece to have if you're looking to up your damage. Now, when it comes to survivability, the Kushala Grips Beta is one of the best in the game. It offers a level 3 slot and evade window level 2. And as we know, evade window is one of the best skills for survivability. It extends the invulnerability period when evading. When it's maxed out, it will help you out a ton. If not, ask Devil Joe and his Dragon Breath. You can pretty much phase right through it with your evade. It's amazing. Now, nonetheless, even though it's still level 2 and you can go all the way to level 5, that level 3 slot mixed with evade window will give you a really nice arm piece. Another great arm piece that gives you a lot of survivability and utility are the Kirin Long Arms Y. They give you two level 2 slots, one point into Blight Resistance and one point into Free Element Ammo Up. They were recently released with Arc Tempered Kirin, but they are definitely worth the farm. Now, Blight Resistance grants immunity from all elemental blights once it's maxed out, so it's definitely worth it. Then we have Free Element Ammo Up, which is a really nice skill giving us two different uses. First off, it unlocks your weapon's hidden elements and it also increases bow gun loading capacities. Overall, it's a really nice skill that gives us a lot of versatility. And last but not least, we have a piece that is often overlooked and is the Empress Vamp Braces B. These gives us a level 3 slot, a level 2 slot, and wide range level 2. On top of that, it gives us 1 point into stamina cap up, which is a really nice skill and it's really cool when it comes to utility. Then we have Wide Range which allows the effects of certain items to affect nearby allies. It can go all the way up to level 5 but here we have level 2. This is a really good skill when it comes to utility and keeping your teammates alive. Now, these are all my particularly favorite armors in the game, I use them all the time. If you guys had me pick one, I would definitely without a shadow of a doubt pick the Valhasak Braces. With that being said, every single arm piece on this list is of the highest tier. I hope you've really enjoyed the video, I want you guys to do several things. One, smash that like button, subscribe and let me know what your favorite arm piece is in the whole game. Second, I want you guys to share any of my videos with your friends on any Facebook page, I want you guys to help us grow the community. And last but not least, I want you to follow me on Facebook because pretty soon I'm gonna start covering another game. Now, I'm going to give you some really easy hints. One, it's by Rockstar. Two, it's not released yet. And three, it comes out before the end of the year. Now, the reason I want you guys to follow me on Facebook and help me grow the channel is because I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway of at least two copies of... <laughs> 
So stay tuned for that, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. For now, your boy Death Gun, out.